Hello, welcome to Art Bites from the Mariana Kistler Beach Museum of Art. My name is Kim Richards. I'm an education assistant at the museum. And today I'd like to share with you this lithograph created by Emilio Sanchez. Sanchez is a Cuban American who lived from 1921 to 1999. Um, he was born to, in Camagüey, Cuba to a wealthy sugar family and spent his early years in Cuba, but then later attended private schools in the United States. He then went on to attend a year at the Yale University and then took um, classes at the University of Virginia as well. During his university years, his mother remarried a Peruvian painter. And it was his stepfather who suggested that he attend the Art Students League in New York City. So in 1944, Sanchez did move to New York to attend the Art Students League and also took classes at Columbia University. Eventually, essentially, he just never looked back and he considered himself a New Yorker and made New York his permanent home. He continued to travel throughout the Caribbean. He liked to take photographs, um, studying the form of things, how light and shadow play off each other, and really absorbing in the colors of the Caribbean. Um, throughout his career, he would paint still lifes. He would paint storefront scenes of New York and Little Havana in Florida. You will also see New York skylines. And with uh, views of the Hudson River in his body of work. But what he's probably most famous for are these houses, um, these um, angular geometric type structures. Um, after 1960, his art became much more geometric and these straight angular lines. I think uh, what he's doing throughout these pieces is best described in a 1967 interview. He says, when I pick out a subject I like to work on, I do several versions of the same thing. If it's a very appealing subject, such as a house, I look at it as a whole with the landscape around it. And then I look close up and then even closer, looking into one of the windows and then going inside like I did with Casita al Sol which is what you see here in the bottom right, where he's looking at how the light comes through the windows when he's inside the house. Again, he's playing with the shadows and the light, and you can see the shadows almost become a um, another form of their own. So you get this, this whole color block, color field painting idea. In 2021, Sanchez was honored by the U.S. Postal Service. They picked four of his artworks to be um, forever stamps. And he's the first Cuban American to receive such an honor. And you can see by this, uh, the stamps here that the pieces they chose were the close-ups of windows from the structures where you can see these blocks again. The shadows are the blocks, there's painted blocks, of, in this bright color from the, those Caribbean influences. The print that we're going to look at today is also one of these architectural structures taking that zoomed in look at just part of the structure. I wanted to show you it in a black and white version first. So as you look here in the bottom right, um, your eye can easily pick up the dark and the light. Um, you see how the shadows become a form and um, equal to the basic architectural um, elements seen in this artwork. Now, if you look at the piece from our collection entitled Berendelles, um, it's printed in 1972. It is a lithograph and, and it's hand colored with pencil. And I think that as you look at this piece, your eye kind of and your mind is like, oh, wait a minute, this looks very abstract. Um, I'm seeing these blocks of color. Um, it's almost like he's condensed the perspective in the piece. Um, and then as you spend more time with it, you can see that, well, this is actually railings on a structure. structure. And you can see the light, how it plays in the front. And then as you move back, you see the color 
added to the doorways. And then you see through the doorway in this big black block, which is um, the darkness inside. You kind of wonder what's going on inside the space. And I think it's interesting to, to look at the color choice that he made. Um, he picks this, this light blue color, which you can almost imagine the um, Caribbean waters kind of lapping up onto the shoreline right outside this image. And it makes sense that this would be the color he chose. And I'm wondering if perhaps you have a place that inspires you and maybe you're inspired by the colors of those places. So if you were to change out that blue to a color that gives you inspiration, which color would you pick and how would it change the feeling of this piece for you? I wanna thank you for joining me for Art Bite and having a chance to experience Emilio Sanchez Berendelez.